Howdy folks! Ever gone crazy and just bought something just for fun? I mean, seriously, pillar meters, meters on the top, meters over here, and this, which uh, actually, nitrous, ready, 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 no, not connected, does nothing. But, look at the seats. Can you guess? And look at that GoPro spoiler at the back. Yes, folks. Okay, this is not the original Momo steering. It's a Mitsubishi steering. But that's because there's an amazing Mitsubishi power plant underneath that bonnet. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, after years and years of searching and not finding it, I don't think I need to tell those IYKYK. If you know, you know. What are these seats from? What are those dough carts from? What is this batik material from? Yes, folks. I have just gone crazy and bought myself a Wira C99. Yeah, no joke. No joke, folks. That gold post spoiler at the back will give it away. And here she is. Yes, I know those are not the original AAC 14-inch rims, but these rays look very nice on the car. It, they really do. I just picked up the car, folks. It is not in bone stock condition, but it is an original C99. Proton only made 2,500 units of this car. For homologation purposes, it is definitely a limited edition. And uh, if the Tiang Gold doesn't give it away, that definitely would. It is not bone stock, like I just said. It is not bone stock. There have been some upgrades. I mean, there are strut bars everywhere. This guy really, really loved his car. Look at the strut bars. But yeah, in case there was any doubt. Yeah, she is. That's not the original uh, muffler as well. The original muffler was a twin pipe. But it is the original color. It is the original Tiangol. It is an original C99, and it's mine. Oh my goodness, what have I done? What have I absolutely done? This is crazy. Puspakom was done yesterday. Just did the names transfer today, and uh, she's all mine. She's all mine. She's in my name. Everything works. It was a buy and drive. All the electronics work. All those meters work. I don't know if I'm going to keep them on or not, but uh, yeah, you you want to see, you want to see. This is a show car actually. This car went into quite a number of shows, but oh, look at those seats! Look at those seats! Unbelievable! So I just drove back from uh, Gomba. I found the car in Gomba. Actually, I first saw this car on uh, Facebook Marketplace, and uh, yeah, I need both hands to. Uh, Open the bonnet, so give me a sec. You still there? Okay, don't get shocked, yeah? But yeah, this seems to be a very popular thing to do uh, for car shows. You change the colour of the engine bay. But uh, yes, and another strut bar across there. Most importantly though, can you see that? Yes, C99, 4G93. Amazing. <laughs> the previous owner even put in one of these uh, clear covers. So you can actually see the belt. You can actually see the condition of the belt, which is pretty smart, actually. Full extractor, straight through flow, uh, straight flow pipe, CAI cold air intake, open pot filter. This thing is a rocket ship. It is so, so quick. Unbelievably quick. But yes, I am going to change. I'm going to paint the um, engine bay back to original color. I've already spoken to Ken about this. It's quite a neat, difficult job. They have to cover everything because they're not going to remove the engine. They're going to cover everything. And... Uh, and uh, paint the uh, engine bay body color. Yes, I'm going back to body color. But everything works and this engine is sweet. It is such a sweet engine, this 4G93. Ah, unbelievable. I am so, I actually, I, I don't, I, I, I can't really brain this right now. I can't believe I've actually got myself a C99. 
a lot of stuff has been done to this car that is not an original radiator it's an aluminum radiator there's gauges here and there to make sure and there was no overheating nothing the car just drove beautifully beautifully on the way on the way back here engine number over there how do you know uh, sorry um chassis number how do you know how do you know pl1 c99 that's how you tell pl1 c99 can't run away from that there are many viras out there 1.5 viras that have been upgraded to 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 look like a c99 but they won't have that chassis number so like i said an original c99 homologation model only 2500 units made now yes there are certain aspects of this car that i'm going to go back to original but there are certain things that i'm going to keep because i like them they are upgrades that i would have done you know if i if i had if i had a car like this already this is a one family owned c99 from new of course you had to remove the tints so that's for the inspection so that's why i'm over here at procast procast is over there and we're gonna get that done unbelievable folks a c99 I am so excited. Yes, please don't hit me in the comments saying that there's so much of this car is not original. I know, I know, but it is a C99. It is an original Tiangol, and that's what's important. The rest is just gravy. The rest is just gravy. The chassis on this car is amazing. I'll tell you a funny story. The, um, the previous owner, or rather the guy I just uh, picked up this car from, he actually was tempted to put in a sunroof, but when he went to the shop that specializes in aftermarket sunroofs, they said, are you sure? Think about it for 24 hours because the metal or rather the subframe, the frame of this car has been strengthened so much that to actually cut that roof is very, very difficult. So he didn't do it and I'm so happy. 4G93 babies. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? So anyway, this is just the first of many videos to come. This car drives like a dream. There are many places I'm going to stop, of course. One of the first stops is to be, uh, will be Kenzone for a full check, uh, uh, blood transfusion, you know, whatever that needs to be done, we will do it. The brakes are amazing. Yes, the more, the more eagle eye among you would notice that's been upgraded. And the brakes are so freaking amazing. The C99 has got discs bra disc brakes all around, as you can see, disc brakes in front, disc brakes at the back, and it's just brilliant it's a wonderful car and the interior that's what sold me the interior normally normally the seat bolsters on, on the driver's side the seat bolsters on the driver's side would be would be torn i'll show you exactly what i mean they would be torn right about here because you get in and out right all the time this part is always torn i have never seen one where even not even a slight tear here, here, these are the heavy, heavy wear parts. Not even a slight tear. This is just brilliant. So, yes, I know I'm probably going to get a Momo steering for this car. But it's the journey that matters. And, uh, hey, how can you go wrong with a C99? Wonderful. Stay tuned, folks. I just picked up the car. I've done nothing to it. I've not even washed it or vacuumed it. What you're seeing is what I'm seeing because I just picked it up. Take care, you all. Thanks for watching and stay tuned. The journey of the C99 is just beginning. Take care, you all. Bye.